Hello everyone and welcome to December. Welcome to my gift guide for 2019. I know that we hold out for this time of year when we can be gifted the ultimate yarny gift. And so this list is about maybe you, maybe you're gonna write some things down and hand it to your personal Santa. Maybe you have a wonderful friend group of knitters and crocheters who you like to gift something to. Maybe you're watching because you found this video wanting to give something special to a knitter or a fiber person in your life. Whoever you are, I'm just going to give some suggestions of what I think would be amazing to give or to receive this holiday season. If you're here because you know a knitter or crocheter in your life, I think it's really important that you consult with them first if you plan on giving them a gift of yarn. There are a few exceptions, of course. So the ultimate, ultimate gift for a fiber artist would probably be a gift card to their local yarn shop. Now, not everyone has a local yarn shop, so there are different websites that you could give them a gift card to, I am sure. I think it would be important to pay attention throughout the year to who maybe their favorite dyer is or to a website that they return to over and over again. You cannot go wrong with a gift card to one of these places, and what's wonderful is it supports the local business in your town, which I think is so important. I have a habit of putting things in my Amazon cart, books in particular, and then I go to my local bookshop, pull out my list and purchase from my local bookshop. So I'm a big fan of this approach. If you can't resist giving them a total surprise gift of yarn, I would suggest giving them a hat kit. The reason that this is a great idea is because well, the, the hat kit that I'm gonna talk about is the Pull the Wool Over Kit. I actually just finished one recently. This is out of cake wool, and the base is an Erin Base BFL mixed with a mohair, and they're both the same dye job, so you can't really see that the mohair is changing the character of the yarn that much. There are other examples I've shown here on my channel where you use a very different mohair from the Erin the weight yarn, and it kind of changes the character of the fabric. This time I went with both of the same dye lot, so it just makes it really fuzzy. So the benefit of giving this gift is there's always left over mohair, and so if they don't, so if they do make the hat, great, but then they still have more mohair to work with with maybe a different project, and they can choose what that project is. Also, the pom-pom, I just, I love it. So I love the idea of paying attention to someone's favorite indie dyer or maybe introducing them to a new one. If you'd really do some research, you could maybe find someone new that your knitter or crocheter has never heard of before. So, love that idea. Pull the wool over. That is a pattern by Spostrico. The pattern is free. And it is a really good beginning hat pattern. And it knits up quick enough that your, your person will be able to wear it pretty quickly. I'm sure there are crochet hat patterns out there that are free as well that could use the same materials. I haven't looked that up, but I am certain you can find it. But there are a ton of blogs out there that have free patterns for both knitting and crochet, but in particular for crochet. If you don't wanna go the give the gift of actual yarn route, I do think giving pom-poms is such a great gift. I have found a ton of pom-poms on Etsy. I, I'm not going to name a specific store because I just kind of put things in my cart that I'm feeling at the time. This is a really nice faux fur pom-pom that I got on Etsy and most pom-pom sources have a variety. You can look up the color, you can look up the size. I think this is probably considered a three or a four inch pom-pom. You can also pay attention to the back. This one has just a little bit, a little loop that you can sew into your hat, but it is really nice when you have the snap pom-poms because then it makes it easier to wash your hat if you're someone who likes to wash your hat. I don't wash my hats a lot. I do like changing the pom-pom out though, that's fun. I haven't really categorized these gifts into categories, so I'm just gonna go with the list that I have in front of me. I wanna start out with the big gift though, which is a light. So I was recently gifted a light from Stella Lighting. It's a floor lamp and it is so nice because I just have it by my chair that I knit in and it has different settings. You can do brighter, you can do warmer, there's a little remote control that controls everything and I can also use it for reading or things like that and it's really saved 
my sleeping routine because my husband likes to go to sleep before me and also my family loves to watch movies in the dark so I can move the floor lamp into our family room when everyone wants to watch a movie in the dark I can just turn on my little lamp and keep knitting because I am not someone who can knit in the dark they have the floor lamp which is called sky they also have a desk lamp as well so it's really ideal for any way that you craft. I like sitting in chairs, other people like to sit at a desk with a flat surface. They have a product for any of you. This is Wednesday, December 4th, 2019, so between now and Saturday, Stella Lighting is giving you 25% off this sky light with the code Christy Glass. So this is a big gift and I know the crafty person in your life is going to love it and you can have 25% off between now and Saturday with the code Christy Glass. Before I move completely away from yarn, I have to mention Scan Cocaine, who has started dyeing yarn in the past year. And she has these amazing yarn babies that she makes, and you can find them. It, I kind of feel like they're Easter eggs, like it's a special hunt for them. I was actually at Nitty City just last night, and I saw one just sitting there on the shelf. There's usually just one, and they're really incredible works of art. So a lot of Knitters and crocheters might not buy something that special for themselves, so that would be a really fun surprise as well if you got one of these giant, like, artist palette yarn baby giant things that Gina makes of Skin Cocaine. I'm not sure if you can track one down on her website or if you'd have to call your local yarn shop, but I know there's one at Needy City as of last night if you want to get one. I want to talk about Vogue Knitting for a little bit. I just found out this year that they have a new Ultimate Quick Reference book. So maybe you've seen the Vogue Knitting Giant books. They're quite large, hardcover, very heavy. This is the Quick Reference version. So you can see it's a little bit flexible. It's much smaller. And you can just dive in here and find all kinds of answers to your questions. Here's a page on modular knitting, for example and there is a reference in the back with anything you could think of. So let's say hats. They have categories in the band, bill, visor, brim, closing the top off, crown, cuff, ear flaps, eye cord finishing, measuring a head, ribbed, types of. That's all under hats. So I really feel like this could be a wonderful gift for the knitter who doesn't know everything and sometimes needs a quick reference. Speaking of Vogue, it is the 10th anniversary of Vogue Knitting Live in 2020, January. Sometimes I feel like the marketing for the holidays is about a holiday-ish item. Like, for example, my latest pattern. So if you were to give the Choose Your Own Adventure Christmas cowl on Christmas Day, you've already missed the whole season. This would be a Thanksgiving present, right? Or something that you get at the beginning of the month to enjoy during the festivities. So I like to think about gifts that are for the future. So either an experience that we're gonna have in a couple of weeks, like tickets to a show or maybe tickets to the movies for the non-knitters in my life. Or if you want to think about the knitter in your life who's maybe going to Vogue Knitting Live for the first time or who's a local here in New York City, this is a gift for them. So there are new versions of our bags and this is the 10th anniversary version. I know they look similar, but there are a few different details. So right now, if you buy one at Stitch and Hustle, you get a free Christy Glass pin, which are not for sale anywhere. So that's an exciting perk but the inside is different. So there's a new fabric lining the inside, which I don't know, I know for me and for many of us knitters and crocheters, the details are kind of everything. I'm just gonna inside out it because I think technically it is somewhat reversible. It does have a hem there, but it is so professionally made in the USA, by the way, that you could actually reverse it if you wanted to. And then the pockets would be on the inside. So this is what the inside looks like. I love this fabric so much. I know there are a few of these bags that will be available in some local yarn shops. I'm pretty sure The Knitting Place and Stephanie of Asylum Fibers will have different versions in their booths at Vogue Knitting Live and maybe in their shop, but you can also get this online if you're not a local. And whether you're coming to the Subway Storm or Vogue Knitting Live or not, of course you could make great use of these bags. So this is the second version here if you don't want the all pink. It is a natural color 
and there is a different fabric on the inside of this one which is also very fun. So these bags are for sale on Stitch and Hustle, and this would be wonderful to get your knitter or crocheter for a future on-the-go knitting event. It is always nice to have a bag like that so that you can knit in line while you're waiting or at a knitting event, and so I just had to put a little plug in for those new special edition bags. I don't have a visual aid for every single thing that I'm talking about today. I will try my best to insert some photos when I can, and I will have some show notes underneath this video as well but there is something really exciting that I have yet to talk about on my channel here but there is a finished object video on it coming up as well as an interview with the designer Stephanie who designed yoke o'clock it is a knitted clock that is basically the face of the clock is a yoked sweater it is so cool and I think it's such an awesome gift to either make for someone and give to them or to receive. So you can receive the kit with three different colors of yarn and the actual clock kit. I will find the source for this. I don't know what in my brain right now, but I'm going to link it underneath this video because Stephanie just sent me the kit, but I know she has them for sale somewhere. I loved making my clocks so much. And if you were to make this for someone in your life, I would strongly consider you consulting with them first because I think it's very tricky to give someone something and expect them to hang it in their home. It has to be the right person, it has to be the right room, it has to be the right home. So before you go and make one for someone, I think that is something that you need to talk to your loved one about and maybe have them give you some input on what yarn to use. It takes just a small amount of yarn, so any leftover singles or sock yarn that you have, those are all good choices for making this clock or you could probably order some with the clock kit. It was so much fun to make. I highly recommend Yoko Clock and the kit as part of your gifting this year. In the digital atmosphere, I have to mention a few things. First of all, of course, Blueprint. I am affiliated with Blueprint as one of the performers. I have two shows on Blueprint, The Stitch Dimension and Jump Into Knitting, but there are tons of different programming for the fiber arts. I actually just was watching Vincent and Morgan in their new show called Knit Meets Not. It's really fun because they show how you can make the same thing with knitting and crochet. So much fun. If you subscribe to a Blueprint Premium package, you get a new project to choose from every quarter. So it's not a blind project being sent to you. There are six choices and you get to choose which one comes your way, which I think is really fun because you get to maybe try something new but still have an opinion about it. I was just on Blueprint last week because I am hoping to do more creative freeform knitting and crocheting in 2020 and I feel like I need a little education on it. So I was searching for what I want to learn about and I have about five different videos in my queue that I think apply to what I'm trying to learn this year. There's new programming every week in so many different categories and I've been drawn to watching the cooking, especially the art and of course the crocheting and the knitting. I do have an affiliate link with Blueprint, so if you are interested in gifting this for yourself or someone else, I would love it if you use my link, which is underneath this video. Speaking of digital, I highly suggest gifting the gift of either Spotify or audible.com. I use both of those a lot while I am crafting. I sit and put my headphones in and kind of tune out the world. I have audible.com with one credit every two months because it takes me a really long time to get through an audiobook. So it doesn't cost as much as the monthly fee and I rarely go beyond my one credit to actually purchase a book. What I really like about Audible is you can return the book if you don't like it. And that was something that turned me off to audiobooks before and I don't know if that's been a change since I first looked into audible years ago but now if I just can't get into the book I can return it which is so awesome now I feel like there's no risk when I choose something and I feel great about keeping it when it's over and I liked it I know a lot of different podcasts both audio and visual offer discounts to audible.com and I think there's also free trials so you should go on a little internet hunt I don't have that with audible but I do really like it 
As a knitter and a crocheter, sometimes I just need a palette cleanser and a company that I keep returning to over and over again. I have both purchased but mostly been given things from Neon Tea Party. And lately, I have been really drawn to the friendship bracelet kits. She just sent me one in the mail this past week, so it was perfect timing. In fact, she's known for her pom-poms, and look at this little card she sent. I think she added that pom-pom, don't you? So inside, you get everything you need. There's a pair of scissors. There's a tutorial card, several in here for different techniques. There's washi tape, a sticker, so you can tape down your threads. There's all of these different little hanks of her Mexican acrylic that she uses for all of her crafting. This kit has really fun tonals, so they all kind of go together. Look, love that. And I just feel like this is such a wonderful stocking stuffer because everybody needs a little palette cleanser in between projects or something that they can do with their friends or in public to kind of introduce crafting. I had these out over Thanksgiving weekend and my niece sat down and she made actually the shell necklace, the shell macrame necklace, which is another neon tea party kit. She pulled it all out and she could do it all on her own. She made one, my daughter made one. So I just really highly recommend neon tea party for just introducing a new craft that still has to do with yarn and is just much smaller and beautifully packaged. I love Marissa's presentation so much so I have to mention that. This past year I discovered a few new tools that I really love. This is a necklace from Katrinkles and I'm not sure how she sells this if it's on her website or if you can only get it in a yarn shop but it's so great because you can it's jewelry so it's actually somewhat of a fashion statement, but the actual tools on it I, I really love this one in particular. There is the two inch ruler here there is a needle gauge and then my favorite one is this which is called a wraps per inch i finally understand wraps per inch now i was so confused for so long but i use this all the time so on the top there is one inch and you wrap the yarn until you fill up the whole inch and then you count how many wraps there are and underneath there is a list so lace is 16 plus fingering is 14 wraps sport is 12 bulky is five to six wraps you get the idea so I love this so much this would be a wonderful gift for a fiber artist found at Katrinkles Sandy by the Lakeside has the most beautiful bags and leather goods and another stocking stuffer that I love so much is a leather cover for my snips so it's a tiny little triangular piece of leather that you cover your scissors with and I have one pair of scissors that I love from Brooklyn General, I'll mention that as well. Catherine has Love is in the Making, is her brand, and her scissors have a little red circles on the, where you put your fingers in, and the snips are so sharp. So this little leather cover is so perfect. I just put it right over the scissors, and this is the leather case, and it has even a scissor stamped on it, so it just goes like that, just right in there. So I think this is a wonderful gift, these two in combination. I want to talk about some of the favorite hand cream that I have come to love over the years. There's an old favorite and a new. So the new is the Utopia Bath Limited, best hand cream ever. And this I got at the Knitting Room in Windham, New York. It is the Lavender and Sage. It has sheep's lanolin in it and I keep it in my bedside table and every night I just squirt my hands and it's a very subtle lavender smell but the scent of it just puts me in this drowsy mood and I fall right to sleep. I love the feel of it on my hands as well. So Utopia Bath Limited, best hand cream ever. And my old standby that I have in every single knitting bag. This is the Lolo Bar. They've rebranded to be Lolo Body now. I think if you search for Lolo Body, it still takes you to barmaids.com, but either way, you'll find it. And I've smelled every single one, and the best scent is Hookah Girl. And there is a very generous discount for my patrons this week through Saturday. So if you want to try some out, you should head on over to our blog because there's a great discount for Hookah Girl for low, low body. You don't have to get hookah girl. There's tons of different scents. I get the big bar like this, and I also get some travel sizes. And I love it because it's a bar, so I can take it when I travel. 
it's not liquid. And then I usually coat my hands with it before I start knitting and it makes my knitting smell so amazing. So I always have to mention my favorite, Lola Bar Hookah Girl. Another gadget that I found this year was at Harrisville and there's, this isn't a, this is kind of a one of a kind item. So you might have to call Harrisville about it, but it's a, just a little needle case. It has a cork top and it's wooden. And then I just put my needles in it. So they're always there. And I feel like this, again, is such a wonderful stocking stuffer because every crafter needs yarn needle supply at all times. And it's just a beautiful way to hold them. I've been so into candles lately and I have to mention some of my favorite candles. One is the Volcano Candle from Anthropology. It's best to buy these candles when there's a sale because they can get a little pricey. And then my second favorite company, another favorite is the wax and wool. So I think the best scent is tobacco. I think there's no better scent than tobacco. But if you're interested in a holiday scent, I would suggest the balsam fir or the Christmas market. You can get these on a homespun house when you're making your homespun house purchases. You can also get them on their Etsy shop, wax and wool. And it's just soy candles, they're beautiful. Oh, they smell so good. And I just think that it adds to our whole Huga knitting, crocheting atmosphere in the winter, especially when we have a candle going because the fire and the warmth from the candle combined with the actual scent is just, it makes it a whole experience, which all knitters and crocheters need, need. I wanted to talk about knit collage yarn for a little bit. This is another special yarn, kind of like the Skin Cocaine yarn baby that Sometimes knitters don't want to use their budget on a very expensive one skein of yarn or a whole project. So it would be really special if someone could get a few skeins of this beautiful knit collage yarn. I've talked about it a lot on my channel here because I'm a big fan of not only the yarn, but the woman who owns the business, Amy. She, I've gotten to know her so well over the past year and she really is so focused on not only the yarn itself, but mindfulness and living your best life. And her podcast is so inspiring. I do have a link associated with Knit Collage as well. So that will be underneath this video. If you want to click on through to purchase your yarn through the link, I would really appreciate it. I'm just finishing up her latest knit along, which is the pixelated cardigan. I'm about here on the body. So I have to just finish a few more inches and then tackle the sleeves, which won't take long at all. But I love knitting with her items and wearing them. It's such a special yarn and such a special woman so I wanted to add her to my holiday guide because that would be such an awesome gift as a maker to receive her yarn for the holidays. I was just at Nitty City last night which is one of many local yarn shops for me living here in New York City and on their back table they had this stack of beautiful books and there's one book in particular that I had heard about earlier in this year they reached out to me to sort of endorse and promote the book and I just it was bad timing for me in my life so I never got around to doing it but I had a chance to flip through it last night and it's called RED R E D it stands for Rescue Endangered Species that doesn't that's R E D rescue and it's about endangered species. I don't know what the RED stands for, although I should. <laughs> but inside there's, it's a beautiful kind of coffee table book category book, beautiful, big, has gorgeous photos and a lot of writing about these different species as well as patterns inspired by the species. And I wrote down a few of the, my favorite patterns that I saw in the book. So the school of tuna, which has, it's kind of, I don't know if it was short sleeved or you can make it anyway, but it has these little tuna fish. It sounds weird, but it's so cute. They're kind of like swimming off your shoulder. So cute. So that's School of Tuna. There's the Not a Jumper, and it's so clever because it has, I think, striping involved, but what I love the most is it kind of looks like eyes are the shoulders, kind of like a frog. Very, very cool. Tuna on Parade is really fun too. It kind of has some color blocking that would go really well with your special indie dyed skeins of yarn. Doesn't so much look like a tuna, although maybe the coloring of the fish is what was the inspiration for how the color blocking is put together, but it was a really fun sweater. So those are just three of many in that book and it would be such a wonderful book for an animal activist in your life or just a beautiful 
kind of book for your knitting collection. So I wanted to make mention of that. It's R-E-D. It's available at Knitty City and I'm sure other places as well. Also on the table was a beautiful book called Making a Life by Melanie Fallick, who is someone I would love to meet and have on the program at some point. But she put together a very beautiful book with words and pictures. I didn't do a deep dive into that. I just kind of flipped through and thought, this is a beautiful book. As I was sitting in Nitty City, a woman from the UK walked in and she wanted something local. And it was so nice to see that they had all of these, of course, American indie dyers, but then also local to the tri-state area. So again, kind of full circle going back to the beginning here. It would be fun if you went into a local yarn shop and asked for that special skein of local yarn for the favorite knitter in your life. That about wraps it up here for me today, coming to you this December 2019. I've had such a wonderful year exploring the fiber arts, and these are just a few things that have stood out to me, something that I would love to have in my stocking on Christmas morning if I, of course, didn't already have these items. Thank you so much, as always, for supporting me here on Christy Glass Knits. If you're one of my patrons, head on over to our blog. There. Every single day between now and the 10th or 11th, there's a little discount for you over on the Patreon blog. As just a little thank you for being my patron. And I know my patrons love to support all the makers, so head on over there. Every day there's a little something for you. Don't forget about the Stella Lighting Coupon available to all. All of the information will be underneath this video. There is a free pin thrown into the Vogue Knitting Live bag right now, so there will be a link for that underneath this video as well. And I would love to hear from you. What has been the favorite gift that you've been given or the favorite gift that you've received that's fiber related? Because people love reading the suggestions in the comments and I read everything. Even though I don't respond to everything, I do read the comments. So I would love to hear what some of your ideas are because that's what this community building is all about. Love to hear from you. I hope you have a wonderful holiday season and I'll be back. I'll be doing some Vlogmas here and of course some other special Christmas things. Don't forget about our Fiber Flash Mob on December 14th. I would love to see you there. There will be a video with all the details on that coming soon so that you know exactly where to go, what time to be there, and what's happening. In the meantime, we need to be practicing our dance every day. So <laughs> be ready for that. Happy holidays. Bye. What is this called? Ruler. <laughs>